In short, use what you've got, make it work. Start practicing, stop designing. Let's get into it. This video has actually been culminating for a little while with me and uh, it's been growing more and more and it really started this summer where I decided to just stop buying bushcrafting knives and it really came out of the fact that it looked like or it was no matter where I looked, whether it was on Facebook, YouTube, even <clears throat> in magazines and just everywhere really it seemed it like as far as bushcrafting goes, not like everywhere, but uh, that there were so many knife reviews, so many knives coming out, you know, blade shows just filled with all these bushcraft survival tactical knives, or really bushcraft and survival knives. And I just got so tired of this oversaturation of bushcrafting knives that <clears throat> and everyone saying, oh, I found the perfect knife. And you know, you have YouTube uh, people coming out with their perfect survival knives because they couldn't find anything perfect on the market that I decided to actually just go another way and just say, screw that. And I was going to get one knife and that one knife I was going to train around and make it my perfect bushcrafting survival knife through training and practice. So that is pretty much the tone for this video. So before we jump into <clears throat> why and why I like only having just one knife and just practicing and practicing and practicing with it, I'll just take a, I'll show you guys this one and we'll just take a quick look at it. And ultimately I wanna take this time to, you know, share some of the reasons why this knife isn't really great for survival but or bushcraft, but through practice is able to find workarounds and make it work. So of course, this is a, or my uh, Chris Reeves Knives Pacific, and it's a great knife. This is not some sales promotion for it, but it's definitely not a perfect bushcraft or survival knife, but this is the knife that I ended up choosing and I made it my one option. This was my one bushcraft survival knife. I had nothing else to choose from or I made myself choose this one alone. And oftentimes I'd launch myself into the field with just this knife. So, so I would launch myself into the field with just this knife and force myself to use it alone. And through that, I learned that <clears throat> I learned how to make it work. So as you guys can see here, a couple of features to this knife that lend its hand not really to bushcrafting is one, it does have a bit of a forward or upper guard. And also the other thing is it has a rounded spine. So those two things alone are not really great for bushcrafting, but you know, you learn how to hold the knife in a way that you get over that guard. And that was one thing that I was like, you know what, I'm just gonna force myself to get around it because I wanted to make myself a perfect bushcrafting knife out of practice really more than continuing to buy and spend money on bushcrafting knives in hopes to find the perfect design because I've owned dozens and dozens of bushcrafting knives and there really is no perfect design out there. The only thing that makes a bushcrafting knife perfect for a user is going out in the field, using the hell out of it <clears throat> and getting comfortable, getting accustomed to the way that knife works. So the other thing that like I said, it kind of sucks as this rounded spine. However, on the CRKs, uh, on the swedge is ground so finely and it's ground down to a 90 degree. So you can take it anywhere along this kind of swedge here and just strike ferro rods and it throws sparks like a boss. So those were the kind of workarounds that I had to just figure out in the field. I had to make this knife work for me and ultimately it turned out to be really a great knife and like I said it is my perfect bushcrafting knife but not because of its awesome design or its amazing blade steel or anything like that it's simply my perfect bushcrafting knife because the knife that I forced myself to take alone out into the field and I didn't have any other backup knives I couldn't choose something else this was it so I had to make it work 
Getting to another point about this whole why I'm not buying any more bushcrafting knives. Like I said, I really don't need them. And also, forcing myself to use just this one is really great because it allows me to focus on other skills. I think something that's really important, and one of the people, YouTubers, I collabed with earlier this year, uh, Junkyard Fox, made a really good point that, you know, there aren't a lot of wildlife or wild, um, <clears throat> wild edibles ID videos out there, but there are sure as hell a lot of knife review videos out there on the interwebs. So why is that? And you know, there's so many people that focus almost purely on knives and do so little with the actual real meaning of bushcraft or the real meaning of survival because yes having a good survival or bushcrafting knife can make the difference but at the same time it's far more important that you have a good knowledge of the woods how to make the woods work for you as opposed to just having this really cool survival knife so Okay, so that's all I have to say really about why I chose one singular knife. I do highly recommend that you guys out there, if you're in the same boat as me and have a bunch of survival knives, really do recommend paring down the collection. And like I said in the intro, really, you know, use what you have and just make it work. Don't go out there and just try and get so many knives or chase after like a perfect design because there really is no such thing as a perfect design and what suits one person may not suit another. Obviously this type of knife probably isn't going to suit many bushcrafters, however it does suit me very well because I've learned to use it. And that's what I ultimately recommend for you guys is really choose one knife that you guys have that you like and just use the hell out of that one knife. Make it your only knife option for, <coughs> for bushcraft or survival. And you'll be impressed with just how excellent that knife can perform because a lot of these knives, I will say, pretty much every bushcrafting knife that I've had, uh, even the ones made in China, were actually pretty good and they definitely worked well for everything I needed them to do. Anyways guys, this is all for now. God bless and I'm out.